Welcome everyone to October's Tiger Chat and uh, this month Coach McKee, head football coach, is on the hot seat for us. Welcome Coach to uh, Tiger Chat. Thanks Coach, appreciate it. So before we get to Coach McKee and asking him a few questions, uh, a couple updates. Number one, I want to say congratulations to our boys golf team and Coach LaFabre for uh, winning the regional in, uh, as of this filming, it was last week in September. Uh, so they qualified uh, not only for individuals, but as a team, and they'll be uh, rolling into the state tournament the uh, first week of October, October 2nd and 3rd, down in Montrose to compete both individually as a team for the state title. So congratulations, boys golf. Also, uh, as of filming, congratulations to boys tennis, uh, who won the Southwest League title just recently, and uh, we're waiting to hear if they end up hosting for the team state championship tournament and whether or not uh, you know they'll be going on the road or here at Grand Junction. So we wish them good luck in the playoffs and congratulations on the league title. A few other uh, announcements. Please, 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 if you feel that your son or daughter has interest or the potential to go on and play college athletics to reach out to our counseling department to make sure they go the proper steps to be NCAA eligible. So once again, whether their uh, best time is sophomore or junior year, reach out to our counselors to make sure those academic classes are in line. Although they may be eligible to graduate for D51, uh, NCAA has some different requirements for them to be eligible to play collegiately. So please reach out to your counselor. Uh, winter registration will be open in October. So yes, we're already talking about winter sports. <coughs> Excuse me, winter sports. And so please uh, start that process if your son or daughter plays winter sports. A couple things, once they do register, they will need to pick up a pink slip from Missy in the athletic office to then give to their coach. Uh, they will not be allowed to participate in practice or tryouts until the coach has the pink slip. So your son or daughter needs to pick that up. In addition, all paperwork, as far as history and physicals, needs to be downloaded or uploaded into the system. If you have difficulties or trouble, I know it's not a friendly uh, system to use, please call the athletic office and uh, Miss here and myself will help you through it. We cannot download it ourselves. You have to. That's just one of the rules to protect the, the process. Um, finally, I'd like to thank you, the, the community and parents, for our behavior games. Uh, unfortunately, on the Western Slope, there's been uh, several occurrences where uh, fans have been escorted out by the authorities for the way in which they behaved with officials and, and the calls on the field. And again, the, the Tiger family has been uh, phenomenal and great in support for our kids and coaches and officials. Uh, thank you to Alpine Bank, Kidova, Jimmy John's, Mod Pizza, Red Rock Nissan, Nissan and Mesa Fitness for being our corporate sponsors. So, with that said, we go to the hot seat. Coach McKee, welcome again. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So uh, we're about, this is the October edition, so we're about halfway through the season. So uh, give us a little update on the season to date. Um, so, so far this year, you know, um, and we'll go back and the, the progress we've made from last year to this year in terms of, you know, all three phases of this game, offense, defense, and special teams has been uh, has been really on the uptick. You know, we're averaging over uh, 250 yards a game offensively. Um, our, de our defense is, is playing very well. Um, our, our record doesn't quite, you know, meet, meet those expectations that we have or those standards. We're, we're one and four at this time. But, you know, we just came off our best offensive production um, with over 450 yards of offense. Um, we we got to shore up a few little things, put the ball in the end zone, but kids are playing well. You know, our offensive line is, is really coming along and gelling together. Um, we're happy with the progress that we're making uh, as far as ball movement and, uh, and just, just overall team chemistry. The, the kids are really coming together and very, very happy with the progress that we're making with that. Awesome. So it's uh, been, I don't know the exact number of years, but uh, homecoming win for us a couple weeks ago was, was pretty exciting. It was. It was big. It was, it was, it was great for our kids, great for the school. Uh, great for the uh, just overall um, you know energy that we had out there um, and, and yes we talk with those kids we got to take one and build it into two and and uh, keep moving down the road we, we talk about you know the path that we're on as a team and what we're what we're accomplishing and what we're what we're building and what we're going to do and, and and 
and they are very much bought into that and uh, excited about you know us continuing to get better down the road. Awesome. So, well, this is the October edition, and so uh, Halloween is around the corner. So I always throw out the different curveball question to our coaches. So uh, let our community know whether it's yourself growing up or, or one of your kids' uh, favorite costume. <laughs> well, you, you know, I go back to I'm going to go back to me as a kid, and I was a. Uh, I was a Wild West fan, and uh, you know Billy the Kid and uh, Jesse James, people like that were very big to me. So I would, uh, you know, I, I I would decorate my bike and, and put on my, my my shafts and my cowboy hat and, and drive around and pretend like I was an outlaw, and uh, that that kind of got passed on to my son, and not not really on purpose, but uh, you know he, he enjoys the, the the cowboy look and the outlaw look and and, and doing the same thing. So um, you know I, that that was probably when I think of. Of Halloween, I think of uh, you know, uh, you know, cowboys and outlaws. So nice, and of course, they mirrored Halloween after Grand Junction High School, worn in black colors, right? Yeah, yes, that's there we go. <laughs> okay, so final question, Coach, give us a, a preview of the second half of the season for us. Uh, you know, this week we play uh, Standing Lake Friday night or Friday at four, Friday afternoon at four o'clock, um, and uh, they they we we. Uh, have a great plan is in, in in place for them and, and what's going to happen with uh, with that game. We're excited about what our you know what we have coming offensively, um, and this this starts our league play as far as this week goes. So it's played the Lake, the then we have one more non-conference with Fruita next week, and then we uh, move on to the rest of the league with Bear Creek, uh, Dakota Ridge, and Golden. So, you know, from what we've done the first part of the season with the first five games, and then I'm I'm very excited and looking forward to the taking what we've done and the growth into those next five games in league and and just watch watching these kids blossom and progress and into the team that they're supposed to be and that's you know one of the messages that we you know constantly talk with them is you know the winner that you are that you're going to be and, and who you're supposed to be so excited to see what they do with it um, um with the last five games of the season awesome well we're proud of the, the tigers on the gridiron and look forward to uh you know the second half of the season All so right. thank you again for everyone for tuning in to october's edition of Tiger Chat, and we look forward to seeing everyone out on the fields.